Hello. Um, it's a great honor to be invited uh, to the event. And uh, as an architect, I, I would say that uh, such a great overview can be followed very well by uh, two local projects, uh, which describing the good collaboration between public and private sector and uh, which have been born uh, through that uh, synergy, which is uh, can be achieved if the public sector and private sector both want to act uh, in combination. It's not always a collaboration, it's a big fight, it's a kind of um, no, coexistence. And first project is world's largest pyramid in Aidu. Uh, that's the map of Estonia and uh, on the upper tip in a, in a red circle you can see the scratches on, on the surface of Estonia. And uh, it means uh, there are oil shale mines which uh, providing the ener local energy because the Estonian, Estonia is not very rich country in um, natural resources. We have more than 50% of uh, soil covered with forest. So the timber industry is very well uh, developed, but we have as well the oil shale mines, which are working already from the 60s in very traditional way. And from the local municipality, which has uh, 900 people living in, uh, the local mayor of a village came to us and said that we are minding the, the oil shale and every time we excavate it, we just uh, pile the 20 meter of limestone gravel to the ground. Maybe, maybe we could uh, somehow come up with the idea to, to make the landscape more worthy. And we visited uh, with my partner Oit Kadarik the site and uh, saw the, the picture that it's actually the uh, long piles of uh, gravel, which is, uh, stays uh, for five years Ro as a rock pieces, but we have such a heavy winters that it's uh, cracked and uh, later on it's uh, just a pile of uh, stone. And we studied, studied the material which looks first year like that and later piles up. And we found out that it has certain um, properties, that it's always, if you pile it, it stays on 37 degree angle pile. And we started to work on a pile configuration that how, how we, can we pile it up? Because the solution for a landscape have to be cheap because if a municipality with 900 uh, persons only want to make a landscape, uh, when it has to be made uh, somehow naturally. And the mine technology allows to pile up the uh, leftover of uh, mines uh, uh, according to these uh, physical rules. And, and we, we proposed the landscape of uh, pyramids, what contains uh, many, many different functions, but has the, has the common story that it's the world's largest pyramid which is made so far. And uh, in collaboration with local people, we worked on a, on a program that can be integrated into a landscape. Because uh, the future is that uh, in every year they excavate uh, uh, the oil shale so that they having uh, one million cub cu cubic meters of uh, leftover every year. And in 20 years perspective, we have 20 million cubic meter of soil. And we, we made a 3D model exactly for 20 million cubic meters. And it contains from a ski slope to the graveyard island, all different kind of functions inside. 
And as a planning process, it takes 20 years. We, we can just think over and over in 20 years because we, we're starting the construction from the first layer. Here you see the section of landscape which is compared with Giza pyramid is down there and upper part is our idol. Here is a building permit from local municipality for a first phase of idol pyramids. But astonished us that actually it's a real project. It, it contains 1.6 million cubic meters of uh, material and the height of first phase is 60 meter. And and actual work have started already. Here you can see the, some rendered photo collage which uh, questioned the, the time perspective in a project. But here you can see the idol in a 300 years perspective where it generated already the huge, huge uh, urbanism around the pyramids. And here you can see the local landscape which is uh, have to be in far future perspective as well. And uh, we, we combined the landscape with uh, amphitheaters and different uh, energy making fields and museums. And uh, local municipality is uh, really keen on that project because we can really, without any extra um, resources uh, generate the lo local landscape or, or local sign to, to give a local job after the mind is closed and, and generate a certain value through a story. Here is a visitor center for a landscape. And um, here is a scale comparison for a Giza Anchesters. And, and here is a study of a pyramids uh, throughout the history. And uh, it has kind of value of a story. It um, uh, seems ridiculous a little bit, but in a, in a way it's really serious about how to use the resources and how to generate with the energy of uh, 900 people, something that can uh, really work in a, in a future as well as a, as a landscape. Because right now the landscape continues to be completely empty and uh, it has a little bit of forest on it. And the initiative of this project came uh, through the municipality. But, uh, uh, active uh, people from a municipality came to the architect to say that uh, if we having such industry, could we generate something? And the piling price is going a little bit higher after 60 meters. Till the 16th meter, it doesn't have any difference to pile it up or, or just to continue to, uh, to pile it uh, in a field. And Estonia is a very flat country. Uh, that's why the hill is uh, visible in a, in a countryside. The second project that I wanted to talk about is uh, in a Tartu, in a city center of the second largest city in, in Estonia. And as a university town, it has long, long history. And Tartu skyline used to look very spectacular and it's, uh, it has long history. Uh, but uh, after the Second World War it was heavily bombed and uh, had uh, big um, holes in the urban structure. And the competition of architecture was held by, by the municipality in collaboration with the developer and owner of the plot and the program was pressed to be multifunctional just to have fight for uh, suburban shopping centers because the, all the downtown shopping have moved slightly to the suburbs of Tartu and uh, no one wants to come to a city center for our functions anymore. And what we proposed to a quarter of 100 by 100 meters was uh, 
multifunctional uh, multifunctional quarter what contains uh, shopping hotel apartments uh, offices uh, spa parking and so on uh, to be scaled down to a small small parts which uh, builds up a bigger quarter and we wanted to turn around the American type shopping mall into an urban quarter what actually looks with uh, its windows to outside and doors. And uh, from inside it's a really compactly packed program but always is considered to make it work to outside and to make it work to inside. But it uh, kind of turned around concept uh, for a traditional shopping mall. And uh, the developer of the project was really uh, supportive to us uh, to really go through with such solution because it's not very easy to, to uh, say uh, to global brands that uh, you have a new concept and uh, we are forced to use the outside doors in, instead of uh, interior doors from a so-called mall. And here are the plans of the program which are stacked together. And, uh, and the uh, urban quality of the quarter came out so that we used the connective canopy, which is uh, winds around the building, blocks and uh, adds the functions outside of the block as well, not to contain only inside. And what we learned from the history of the Tartu was a scale of a building, but uh, the human scale can very well be described in architecture and, and to scale down from a, from a big uh, intervention scale to a really small, tight human scale. And it's very simple and easy to make actually throughout the detailing and uh, material variation. And uh, from inside, uh, the streets are very having very calm look and we used uh, on purpose outside furniture to look uh, as a continuation of outside uh, streetscape, but from inside and outside you following the, the same kind of landscape which has to be attractive uh, for a public as well. That canopy is actually for a local bus stop in front of the building and it works uh, far more as a as a only uh, bus stop canopy. And uh, here is a overall view, which uh, really, really breaks down a hundred to hundred meter urban block to a smaller, smaller medieval scale or, or chamber scale of a quarter. Thank you.